Greetings to all of my friends that are listening to the broadcast today. Thank you so much for your time and listening to the broadcast. We do love you very much and like to bring and share the Word of God with you. And thank you, Lord, for looking at Genesis 1 and 1. It says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. It was that form of void and, void, and darkness was up on the face of the deep. But the Spirit of God moved up on the face of the waters. And of course, you know, God is our great creator. I thank God for his great creator, and he knows everything. I want to mention some of the things that he really is. He's omnipotent, which means he's all-powerful. He has all the power in that, uh, that uh, uh, glorified body. God Almighty can have, he he's can't, there's nothing he cannot do. He can heal a headache, he can heal a cancer, he can do just about anything. And God is all-powerful. That omnipotent seems to me that word fits him very well. And then he's omniscient, which means he's all-knowing. There's not anything that he doesn't know. I get a little bit amused about AI when I read about some of the things and some of the information they're finding out. And I'm sure there's a lot of things that they're discovering about things that are going on in the world. But friend, I want to tell you, God knows everything. I mean everything. And if you put your trust in him, he will show you the way. He will show you. He is a all, all ever present God. And he knows everything about you. He knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows what he wants you to do. If you'll seek him, he will tell you what your future is going to be. If you will seek him with your whole heart, he'll create a future for you. And I thank the Lord for this wonderful presence of God. And then he's omnipresent, which means he's everywhere at one time. You know, that is an amazing thing to think about it. God is right here where I'm at today. If you're in Africa or Uganda where I've been, he's over there. It doesn't make any difference where you go on this universe. You can go up in SpaceX and he's still up there. There's no end to this universe. He is extremely present everywhere that you think about where to go. That's what God is. And I appreciate the fact that these names are attributed to God. There's a lot of things else. He's faithful. He's very good. He's all-knowing, all-knowledgeable, faithful. He's, he's very full of grace and mercy. So put your trust in him today. And remember the thing, three names attributed to God. Omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Well, I've heard them ever since I've been in Bible college many years ago. Thank you for listening today, and God bless you for your time today.